Wait, 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 you are here in my city. Exactly. In my region, you Central know, I, region. I cannot come to your region without meeting you, man. You know, you, you are the ambassador for Cape Coast. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I have to come and, you know, seek permission from the ambassador from Cape Coast <laughs> before I do whatever I have to do. <laughs> yes. You know? And your permission is granted. Thank I can you. go ahead and do Thank whatever you. you want. Everything you want. You know, this, this is what you all need to learn. When you go to anywhere, make sure you go and find the people that represent the land. Ask for permission before you do whatever you have to do. I'll charge yes. you for that. Cape Coast Ambassador. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hey what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is echo simpson i'm a ghanaian and i live in ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on youtube basically my youtube channel is to connect africans and the motherland to africans in the diaspora good morning everybody good afternoon good evening where you're watching me from this is echo simpson I'm a YouTuber, a teacher by profession, and an errand boy. <laughs> yeah, I said errand because uh, I run errand for uh, people in and outside Ghana, especially those who want to live in Ghana or build in Ghana. Uh, I am currently driving around Asebu now, so the Pan African uh, village is here. It is here. Yes, so. Um, that is what it is. So currently I am driving to the opposite side of the Pan-African village uh, This side Here Okay, because there's a factory ongoing over there. It's a factory ongoing over there and uh, My brother Wadamaya is around so he called me up. You know, I'm the mayor of Cape Coast I should say central region. So if you come to my region without hollering at me uh, you're making a big mistake <laughs> So what Amaya called me up said hey, I am around there's a project ongoing. I think it's a factory here. So uh, He's here and he wanted me to come around and you know, just talk about a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a factory ongoing Ongoing over here. I am yet to really, you know, ask exactly what they do here, but I know it's a citrus factory they they, they do they deal with citrus. So I'm meeting these guys and then we just have a conversation a little bit about this. Uh, okay, this is a kumfi, a kumfi juice. Let me park here. You don't know what's in the ground for here. Mr. Huh? Van Ono. I don't know what self be passing fruit. So then they chop them like that. Yeah, it be it be seeds. It's so it's so it's so it's so so it's so it's so it's so it's so it's so it's Ah. Yeah, another variety, but So 
the thing is that I've been coming to a Cebu uh, Pan African village to check out the buildings, people getting properties and everything, but I've never really gone inside to really look at what exactly they do. So today I am here in one of the communities around Asebu called Nyamedom. So it's a, it's a already Asebu and its environs or the communities around, they are into citrus production. I've already mentioned that. So today I came here with Wadamaya and other people to come and just have an experience how these guys do their farming and then the challenges that they face. One of the challenges that they talked about is, you know, most of these um, farms are in the hinterland. They are inside the community, it's very deep. So for them to harvest and then send the product to the to the street side, it's a difficulty. So I think one of the people or a group of people have decided to you know put road through it. But that is not the reason why we are here. I'm just here to show you that yes, there are a lot of things going on here in Asebu. Not only living here, can also invest into their citrus production. I think it's a big market here when it comes to uh, citrus production here in Ghana. Asebu is really known for that and I've seen uh, a company that is also coming up where they will be buying or dealing with these farmers directly with their citrus products. So uh, just enjoy it. I'm in one of the biggest farms here and I'm enjoying the, the feeling already, you know. Yes, just enjoy it. Okay, so I think uh, some of the farmers came here to weed. So if you could see the place is kind of like clean a little bit and then there are, I think there are three groups of people here. They are the ones that are harvesting or plugging the thing from the, from, from the trees, you know, like, and then there are others who are carrying it, like they pick it up and then they carry it to um, the roadside. So that is another work. So let me go inside and show you, just have a feel of what goes on here.